everybody how you doing welcome to the sim hangar my name is mark thanks very much for watching and let me get started by saying i've been pulling my hair out most of the day trying to get dlss4 working i enabled it in the nvidia app but i couldn't tell the difference between the previous version of dlss and the new version and now i know why i wasn't actually using dlss4 well if you fall into the same boat well this video may be of assistance to you because you do want to get DLSS 4 working correctly and installed correctly because the step up in visual fidelity is significant. You can use DLSS 4 now with greater clarity in your cockpit and for the surrounds. There's no significant performance benefit that I could measure. And here's a quick summary of the problem. The NVIDIA app allows you to swap out the default DLSS driver with the DLSS 4 driver and that doesn't seem to be working correctly. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 was supposed to be a day one release. So in this video I'll outline the steps that I took to get it working in the hope that it assists you. Let's get started. All my tests were done in the Quest 3 using virtual desktop and using it wirelessly. Step 1 you're going to require the NVIDIA application or NVIDIA app that has replaced the GeForce experience and you require the most recent update. Go to settings about and you're looking for version 11.0.2.312. Then going to the drivers tab make sure you have the latest update. Make sure you've updated to driver 572.16 or later as this driver brings in DLSS 4 compatibility. Once you have the latest driver under the graphics tab, a list of all your application and games will be shown with the various settings. If for some reason it's not shown, click on the three dots here and click refresh and it will rescan your computer. If you get an odd message like it can't find your settings just now or something similar, you'll need to uninstall and reinstall the NVIDIA app. Once Microsoft Flight Simulator is shown, we can page down through the various settings to the driver settings. And towards the bottom, we want to select DLSS Override Models Preset. Select the Edit icon to open up the options. And at the top, you want to select Use Same Settings for All DLSS Technologies. And then select Latest. This should then override the DLSS driver version that you have within the SIM and replace it with the latest one. But for me that didn't work. It didn't change it to the latest DLSS version. Once that's done, click apply. It should highlight in green. It's not doing that for me because I'd already selected it. And in theory now you should be done and able to start the sim with DLSS 4. That however is not reality and I can show this using the DLSS show indicator here. For DLSS 4, I should be using preset J. This is still on E. And it's showing my DLSS version is 3.8.10, which I think is probably the default for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So for me, it wasn't working as intended. Having a look at my settings here, you can see that I am using DLSS and it's on quality mode. But first let me show you how to get the DLSS show indicator so you can check. But you should only do this if you're confident with RegEdit. Otherwise skip this next section. With your sim closed, in the Windows search bar type in RegEdit. We're looking for the registry editor. Select that to open it. For clarity, this step is only required if you want to do a check on what preset your DLSS is and what version you're using. It is not a requirement to get DLSS 4 operational. As mentioned before, if you're uncomfortable with RegEdit, simply skip this step and continue. Now we have to navigate to the appropriate entry. First of all, select H key Local Machine as shown. Click on that to open it. A list of directories will be shown, then select Software and open that. In the directory that's opened, we are looking for the entry NVIDIA Corporation. Fortunately, the directories are listed alphabetically. Where is that now? There it is. Let's open that. Then select Global and open that directory. And we're looking for NGX Core. Double click that to open it. On the right hand side, right click the mouse button and select New. A number of options will be presented and you're going to select DWORD 32-bit value. 
This is the tricky bit and here we're going to type in show DLSS indicator, but it must be spelt exactly as shown. Capital S, capital D and capital I. Everything else must be lowercase, as indicated above. Once that's done, click on it and then you're going to select modify. Not modify binary data, modify. An input box will open up, select decimal and then type in 1024. Then select OK and we're done. Registry edit auto saves any entry. So now you can simply close. For step 3 we're going to make use of DLSS Swapper. Link in the notes below, lots of info on YouTube on how to install this, it's straightforward. And here we're going to manually update the DLSS files. This applies to both versions of the sim. It's the same process though we'll be demoing on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. The DLSS version shown there I think is the default for both. I'm going to select Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Then I'm going to click in the DLSS box showing 3.7.10. We can see that version somewhat out of date. I'm going to choose version 310.2.1. Decimal decimal It'll download, then select Swap. And we can see the new version now reflected there. Coincidentally, for the two people in the world that got the 50 series graphics card, you can do the same for frame generation. We can now close this. Job done. Now that we've done all that, back to the NVIDIA app. Just one quick note. Under the settings tab are not related to DLSS at all. I strongly recommend that game filters and photo mode is switched off. This can heavily hit the FPS. Now back to the graphics tab where we started and select Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. And once again we can page down, pass all the various graphics settings to the driver settings. And here there are three that we should take note of. There's the DLS override model preset, there's a frame generation, and a DLSS super resolution. For the DLSS overwrite frame generation, we don't have to worry about that in this video, and it's only for Series 5000 graphics cards. DLSS overwrite for super resolution is not supported at, in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 at the moment, although interestingly, it is supported in the 2020 version. So we're back to the DLSS models preset. Open that up. And once again, as shown earlier, we want to select latest and then select apply. And now DLSS 4 should be active in your sim. Let's jump in and give that a check. Relatively small writing in the bottom left hand corner. Just select airports to get the menu away from it and zoom in. And we can see we've had success. It is showing the preset is K and the DLSS version is 310.2.1, still showing DLSS 3, but as far as I can ascertain and from the experience in sim visually, this is DLSS 4. And the difference is definitely noticeable. In addition to greater clarity overall, we can see here we've got some scrolling numbers here on the altitude. 90% of the blurriness has gone. Visibility both near and far is much improved. Cockpit colours, in my opinion, seem a little bit more vibrant and are certainly easier to read. There is some minor artefacting that I've seen, but to be honest, it's much improved, it's nominal, and I don't believe will detract from the overall experience within the flight sim. And of course, those that are struggling with performance, DLSS provides an opportunity for improved frame rate without the massive penalty of not using TAA, as was the case previously. This will make your flight simming a whole lot more enjoyable, be it Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 or 2024. Anyway, for those of you that have been struggling with DLSS 4 or was wondering why you couldn't see any improvement, hopefully this video has been of some assistance to you. If it has, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you all again very soon. And ciao for now.